Hello, welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 42 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll learn about view limitations. Before continuing with this session, I strongly recommend to watch parts 39, 40 and 41 of this video series. You cannot pass parameters to a view. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. Let's flip back to SQL Server Management Studio. I have a table called TBL Employee, which has got ID name, salary, gender, and department ID columns. Now let's create a view on this table. So here we are creating a view called View Employee Details. And this view is returning all the columns except the salary column from TBL Employee. So it's returning ID name, gender, and department ID columns. All right. Let's create that view. So create view, view employee details as select ID name, gender, department ID from TBL employee. Execute command completed successfully. Refresh the views folder and we should be seeing the view there. All right. To select the data from the view, select star from that view name. We get the data back, which is good. Okay. Now let's try to pass a parameter to this view and see what actually happens. If you look at the view implementation on the right with a red cross on it, you know, the difference between these two views is that in the view here, we are actually passing in a gender parameter of type envercare. And we are using that parameter to filter the rows from TBL employee table. So in the where clause, we are saying where gender is equal to at gender, the parameter that we pass in. Now, is this possible in views? It's not possible. You cannot pass parameters to views. That's why it's crossed out. Now, what will happen when we try to do that? We will get an error. So it's not possible you know, to pass parameters to a view. In the sense, we cannot create parameterized views. Okay. So let's try to do that and see what actually happens. So create view, execute, and we get an error. Okay, so parameterized views cannot be created. Now, if you really want, you know, the reason why we are passing in here gender parameter is I want to filter based on the gender. So if you want to do that, you can actually use the where clause if you want to. Let's say, for example, if you say select star from that view, you get all the employees. And just in case I want only male employees, I can use the where clause where gender is equal to male, and I only get male employees. On the other hand, if you want female, you can filter so. All right. Or what else you can do, you can actually use table valued function as a replacement for parameterized views. In fact, we have spoken about that when we were discussing about functions. Okay. So let us see how to create a function that can act as a replacement for a parameterized view. So if you look at here, we have an inline table valued function called FN employee details. So create function, function name. Again, if you're new to functions, we have already spoken about functions in a very great detail in the previous sessions of this video series. So create function, function name, and this function is taking in a parameter called at gender of type and where care, which returns a table. And if you look at the implementation, this is a very simple function which selects ID name, gender, department ID from TBL employee, filtering the rows based on the gender using the parameter that we are passing into this function. Okay, so this is an inline table valued function which is also taking a uh, parameter. And the way we invoke the function, look at this, it's exactly the same way as we invoke a view. So select star from this function name and we pass it the parameter that it expects, in this case, gender, male or female. So now we are able to filter the rows using a parameter. So you can use this inline table valued function as a replacement for a parameterized view in SQL Server because in SQL Server, it's not possible to pass parameters to views. And remember, to invoke a table valued function, you have to use the two part name, dbo dot, the function name. All right, so let's create this function and select data from that. So here is the function, create FN employee details. So if we expand programmability functions, since this is a table valued function, we already have the function. So let's delete that and then recreate it. So execute the statement.
command completed successfully, the sub function is created now. So select star from that function, passing in mail, and we only get mail records. Okay. So parameterized views cannot be created in SQL Server, but table valued functions can be used as a replacement. Okay, rules and defaults cannot be associated with views. So this is another limitation that views have. And it makes sense because views are virtual tables. They don't really store any data except for indexed views. That's why it makes sense not to have rules and defaults being associated with a view. And the order by clause is invalid in view unless top or for XML is also specified. So in a view definition, you cannot use the order by clause. Let's try to use an order by class in this view and see what actually happens. So alter view, select from this table, and let's say we want to order the results by ID, and let's see what happens. So execute. So we get the same error message. The order by clause is invalid in views, inline functions and derived tables, subqueries, and CTE, common table expressions, unless top or for XML is also specified. So you cannot use the order by clause unless you use the top or for XML you know, keywords. OK, views cannot be based on temporary tables. This is another interesting limitation. Let's look at that in action. So we have a temporary table called hash hash test temp table. And this is a simple temporary table that has got ID, name, and gender columns. And we are inserting some sample data into that temporary table. Again, we have spoken about local temporary tables and global tempor temporary tables in a great detail in a previous session. So if you're new to temporary tables, I strongly recommend watching those videos first. OK, so create the temporary table, insert some sample data into that temporary table. Now let's create a view on that temporary table. So create view, view name as, and if you look at the implementation of the view, we are selecting the ID name and gender columns from that temporary table. The fact that it has hash hash within that table name, it makes it a temporary table. So obviously, is this possible? Can you create a view on temporary tables? You cannot. If you try to do that, you will get an error message stating so. Let's try to see that in action. So we have this create table, hash hash test temp table, ID name and gender. ID is of type integer, name and gender are envir care. Let's try to create this table. Um, let's see if there is this temporary table already created. So drop table, F5. All right, so now let's go ahead and create this table. Press F5, so the command completed. Since this is a global temporary table, we can access it in any session of the SQL Server. So let's try to insert some data into that. F5. All right. Let's quickly check if the data exists in SQL. I mean, in the temporary table. Select star from the temporary table name. So we have the data. Very good. Now let's try to create a view on this temporary table. I mean. The, the creation of the view itself is very simple. It's, it's almost very identical to how we create view on a regular concrete table, on a permanent table, except that we specify the global temporary, I mean, the temporary table name here. So create view, view name as, select whatever columns you want from the temporary table. Let's try to create this and see what actually happens. So execute, and we get the same error message that we are expecting. Views or functions are not allowed on temporary tables. Table names that begin with hash denote temporary tables. Single hash is a local temporary table, and double hash is a global temporary table. So you cannot create views or functions on temporary tables. OK, so those are the limitations on views. You cannot pass parameters to a view. Rules and defaults cannot be associated with views. The order by clause is invalid in views unless top or for XML keywords are also specified. Views cannot be based on temporary tables. 
On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. Um, if you want to receive email alerts when new videos are posted, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.